Well, the one thing I've told all my employees, we've got to produce quality merchandise because if we quit quality, then we lose our customers. And we can't afford to uh, sacrifice the quality on our merchandise. The main thing that we're interested in is the production on a day-to-day -day basis. And we want them to build clubs and be happy while they're building clubs because our employees, we strive for happiness in the factory as well as happiness of the player. My first concern is to make sure that everyone that we have that's working for us understands what he's doing because we feel that the man that works on the clubs should be his own inspector because he knows more about what he's doing than anyone else. And if he doesn't do the job like he should, it's our fault at the top because it's because we haven't trained him properly. So we stress and emphasize the training of that workman so that they can make quality golf clubs. <laughs> One thing is we custom make our clubs. We know what the swing weight is, we know what the lie is, we know what the loft is, because there's so many extremely different people. Small hands, big hands, short arms, long arms, short people, tall people. And so most of our clubs are ordered before they're assembled. We don't have a warehouse full of clubs that we want to just get rid of because the customer is the one that is going to get the benefit of us if he's fit properly. And uh, the customer is our number one guide or director. Yeah, well, the one incident, uh, one of the pros had ordered 45 sets, you know, and that was when I only made 300 sets, and uh, then in my garage. And I called him up and asked him uh, why he bought so many. And he says, well, the handicaps are going down. The other thing is that, uh, uh, you know, I, I've thought many times uh, how per people's personality comes out. And I think when I look at a golf ball, which is just a small round object, and I said, it's the most powerful tool in the world. And you might ask me, well, what do you mean by most powerful? Well, I've seen people get mad, throw their club. And I, last week I saw someone bury his uh, six iron in the ground, right, because the head flew off. It wasn't a ping, fortunately. <laughs> but anyway, when you think of how powerful that ball is, how it influences your mind and makes you think, of bad things instead of good things. What a pleasure it is when you can play with good clubs and score well. The person to person is the best form of advertising, but where in the world can you find a business like the golf business? You play for, say, four hours with three other partners, and if you like your clubs, that alone speaks for itself. In other words, I want to give you a set where you'll enjoy playing with it. And uh, the lower scores you get, of course, the happier you are. Well, the greatest satisfaction is meeting people that are happy with my clubs. And uh, it's just such a thrill when somebody comes up, says, I'm glad you made those clubs. is Karsten Manufacturing Company of Phoenix, Arizona. Karsten Solheim, President Accepting. It's my privilege to present you with the Ernie Sabrak Award for your lifetime contributions to the golf industry. Pretty nice reception, and I understand that's because you know that they uh, 
They love you for all the nice things you've done for this community and for the Thunderbirds. I think it's a marvelous thing. I know you've seen me play, and that's why you don't give me a paint cutter. <laughs> we played together, and I know you offered me a little money not to use your clubs. I mean, <laughs> this year I accept. Anyway, this is a great honor, and it's yours right there. And I want to thank you for this wonderful celebration that you honored me with because it's something that I couldn't do in my own rights. It's something that is a gift. In other words, when the trees grow and the grass grows and all these things grow, you've got to know there's something other than just yourself in this world. And I thank you again.